So I'd like to welcome you to the new now high end highness wow factor evolution. I am Majesty Ellen Nicole Wow. Thank you for joining me for this segment. And you know, during this time, I felt really guided to come forth to uh, to share about extracting your new now uh, high end mindset and being able to uh, rewire yourself in this new high-end way for success. Now, um, though I do neuropathic uh, work, and I'm probably going to end up doing a little bit of that uh, with you during this time, um, I am certified and trained facilitator uh, for doing the neuropathic work. But normally, when I work with people in this area, though the common terminology um, terminology is around re rewiring and reprogramming. I don't actually really see it um, as that being the fullness of what's actually taking place. Um, what I know to be true is that we have these different um, realms and layers within us that already exist and we need to bring those forth. And it's what I call being able to do an extraction factor. It's much like when a diamond you know, is buried within a coal and you put the necessary pressure on that or bring it through a process and you extract it. And then you take that diamond from um, presentable to polished, meaning when it comes out of that, um, the coal or however it's been, um, you know, earthed, so to speak, and it's unearthed, then you have to take it and shine it up and cut it accordingly so that it can um, participate in whatever experience that it's meant to participate in. The mind, um, when it comes to the high-end success in this new way, is pretty much the same. It's already a state of existing, or existence, I should say, but now it's more sort of bringing that out, extracting that. So in the process of doing that extraction, it's not so much that we're trying to do reprogramming from limiting beliefs or a lesser um, vibrational consciousness, so to speak, around high-end work or being able to now perceive this calling in a very different way. Um, what it is, it's much like when Jesus talked about allowing um, the wheat and the chaff to come up together. And I've talked about this in other segments, and I'll actually um, link within the description uh, one of the segments where I focused on how you are hardwired um, for high-end high success in um, this new now uh, experience. So I'm going to put a link to that. But, I, you know, I talked about how just allowing things to just be present. So maybe you do have limiting beliefs. Maybe you've never actually stepped into um, a calling of this nature. You've never been on the high-end scene, even in the old trajectory format, right? Um, that's okay. All of those things can be there. What you have to be aware of is that you do have a place within you that already um, contains the new conditioning. Now, like anything, things have to be developed even when they're brought forth. So you think about when you do a snapshot, especially with one of the older versions of a camera, and though the picture is captured, but then it has to go through the developmental stage, which sometimes obviously is in the darkness. <laughs> and um, at least, again, that's the, the old way of how photography development, you know, would take place. And I'm sure that it still is in, in some regards. Of course, with the digital <laughs> um, experience that we have now, it's a very different, um, you know, process. But I, I still want you to think about it more so um, in the, the old fashioned way so to speak, is that, yes, it's there, and though it gets brought forth, it still has to be developed. But the good news is that it can be developed in a very accelerated process and accelerated format. So I mentioned that I may possibly do some neuropathic uh, work, and that will be in the new now order format, so to speak. 
so it will feel in a sense like there's been some rewiring or reprogramming. But what happens is that the newer mindset or the extraction, it just becomes more enlarged, enlarged and illuminate. And then it becomes the overtaker of what's already existing. And so what I'm really feeling guided is to focus on creating sort of this um, perfect mind storm, so to speak. And so some of this could possibly feel a little bit disruptive, even though it's gentle, but it really is an overtaking trajectory of, of the mind, of this new now context. And without me getting into um, the fundamentals around this new now high-end way of being is, I just want to allow the process to be what it will be for you uniquely, because honestly, the new now high-end experience is very much a individuality template that's very much customized according to your unique um, blueprint, if you will, your, your inner template. And so when you're going through these processes, it brings up your own information so that you can then know how to take um, the wisdom and the insights that come up and then divinely assimilate it for what's going to work uh, for you. Um, and even using some of the traditional high-end structures or, or business formats. It's just that in this type of experience, it just comes under a new order. It's the new now testament of your life and business, so to speak. So as I was mentioning about allowing everything to just exist, let it all come up together. The, the separation and accurate integration, so to speak, it will, it will take place. So since I am feeling guided uh, to do a little bit of the neuropathic um, process, what I'm going to invite each of you to do at this moment is to go get a drink of water um, because hydration is very, very important, even if you're just taking a sip. And I'm going to recommend that after this process, you do actually go and get more hydrated. But for now, just getting you a sip of, of water um, or a beverage, but water preferably uh, would be best. Um, so you can just have a little bit of hydration so that the mind can sort of come forth with ease. Um, so give you a few moments and as you all are possibly getting <laughs> uh, some beverages at this, at this point, um, I, I just want to just sort of preface this experience by allowing you to be comfortable with just the state that you're in at this time. And the reason why that's important is because we want this to be an experience of little to no resistance. And so sometimes when people could feel like, well, I'm not ready for this, or um, I've tried things before and things didn't work out you know, a certain way. Um, so I don't even know, should I even be doing this? Um, do I have what it takes at this point? Um, I'm just gonna invite you to sort of suspend that um, belief system, if you will, or even if you're not going to suspend it, just allow it to be there, but then just be present for this experience too. So it's okay. But <laughs> if, if you can sort of just put that to the side, it would benefit you more. But I guess at the same time, it's not necessary. It's not required in order for this process to, um, yeah, to take place. Okay, so again, make sure you drink uh, some water, just have a few sips there. And as I'm just being present with um, how to best facilitate uh, this sort of perfect, profitable mind storm, <laughs> um, I'm going to invite everyone to take about five nice deep breaths, please.
Right. So just be present for a few moments. You can continue to do some deep breathing. There is a possibility that some hypno hypnotherapy uh, could come into play during this time. Just be present for it all. It's all safe. So in the neuropathic uh, experience, in terms of what goes on with the mind, as I mentioned, there would be some mind extraction. And as that diamond of your mind is being extracted, it will bring forth sort of this perfect profitable storm. And it's really necessary, especially during this time when many of you are in transitions into this new now high-end experience. Take a deep breath, please. All right. So what's coming to me in the moment is about richly rearranging the mindset as this newer extraction is coming forth. So basically, it is a repositioning and a reorienting, a reorientation, if you will, of kind of your current faculties um, and being able to just rightly sort of do mental feng shui with those. So everything is still there. It is just um, rearranging it so that this newer aspect that wants to come forth can come forth with more ease and also that you can perceive it accurately uh, during this time where there's not a lot that's in the way that clouds the new of what is coming forth. Take a deep breath, please. So at this moment, I just want you to imagine that every thought that you have or have ever had as it relates to success gets uh, repositioned to the right corner of your mind. Right? And now, I want you to think about every limiting belief um, that you've had about yourself, about um, business, just in general. And imagine that those are in a backpack, it's a cluster, you've put all those in a backpack and now you've taken that backpack and now you are positioning that backpack to the left side of your mind or your brain, so to speak. It's in a corner on the left. And then I want you to imagine that everything that you've known about life in general, whether it's the good, bad, the ugly, <laughs> the neutral, the in-betweenness. And imagine that what you perceive to be good and great has now made its way over to also the far right of your brain, of your mind, it's there. And then everything that is the opposite of that has made its way over to the left, the left side. Take a deep breath, please. And now bring your focus, your attention to the middle of your brain, of your mind, so to speak. 
it's a clear path here, just a clear space that you're focusing on in the middle. And now what's starting to come forth is like a brain within your brain, a mind within your mind, and it's making its way through that middle space. Take a deep breath, please. And as it's making its way through that middle space, this is a wealthy, profitable template that's coming forth and it contains within it the wisdom and the, the insights, the knowledge that it's going to be most relevant to you in terms of what your new now high-end success um, will look and feel like. It is the new now testament of your life and your business being one cohesive structure. So as that's coming through, some of you could possibly feel um, some peace. Some of you could actually feel a little bit of what seems to be a discombobulation, so to speak. Um, not something too disruptive, just maybe a little bit of it in a subtle way. And if you're feeling that, I want you to take a deep breath, please, and hold for about five seconds. And it should, it should start to subside. Okay. So just be present with this new mind, this new brain that has come forth. It's been extracted from within, new state of existence that has the information that's relevant to you. So just be present with that. So as you're being present, maybe you are getting some wisdom um, some new awareness. And if you have pen and paper or any note-taking material around, I'm going to invite you to write down what's coming up for you. Take a deep breath, please. And now that you are in this new state of awareness with this new brain and new mind that has come up, it's been extracted, I can invite you to imagine that you are in an open field and you're in an open field with this, with this mind. Still focused in on the middle and, and the newness that's come up. And you're in this open field outside and you can sense that a storm is brewing. And so normally, of course, if a storm <laughs> is starting to uh, emerge, the natural thing to do would be to run for cover, go get in a nice, safe place, take shelter. But in this case, you are going to stay focused on that new mind, that new brain, so to speak, that has extracted. So you're not running for safety. You're not running to take cover. You're being present with a perfect storm that is brewing just for you. 
Now, for some of you, that storm will come with thunder and lightning and a lot of rain and downpours. And for some of you, it could possibly be just kind of an overcast. Maybe it is a shower down, so to speak, and then it kind of quickly passes. But for some of you, you could potentially be in that experience for a while. It will be unique to everyone. So at this moment, as this perfect storm is queuing up, I want you to also imagine that or give recall to when we first started rearranging and repositioning different aspects of life, different areas, whether it was what you thought about success, whether it was the aspects around limiting beliefs that you packed away, so being able to see those corners of your mind and all the separation of what seems to be the great and not so great aspects. So bring your attention there and allow the perfect storm to hover over those areas. And as it's hovering over those areas, now bring your awareness to this newly extracted mind and begin to see that imagery enlarge. Begin to see it being the overtaking object of desire that though the other aspects exist, it's now as if they don't. As if they become neutral to the point of almost non-existence, so to speak. Because for some of you, for it to completely go away, that could be a stretch. But just lessening that. And allowing this perfect mind storm to have its way. As the new is present, the new now is present. And everything else. is really at the mercy of this storm. And what we know about most storms <laughs> is that you do actually have to surrender to the storm and allow it to have its way. And then we see what we're working with afterwards. <laughs> Take a deep breath, please. Okay, so as this perfect, profitable mind storm is, is happening, now we're going to go into your new mind, your new brain, this wealthy, profitable brain that is fully oriented for this new now, high-end experience. And for some of you, what's going to be taking place could possibly feel like there's some rewiring that's taking place. And to some extent it is, but it really is, again, the overtaking of this newer aspect. And as wisdom and insights come up for you, in a neuropathic way, it's going to send this new information into 
the trajectory of your mind that you've been most accustomed to operating and functioning from your entire life, it's now providing the new information and recoding that mental reality with this new now high-end information that is, again, uniquely for you. And as some of you are feeling this very deeply, more wisdom, more insights will come up. Jot those down. Even if some of you are just getting sort of a sense, the essence of this experience, it may be no hardcore um, solid information. Write down the feelings. Again, the essence of, of this experience. Take a deep breath, please. Now, with this awareness of what's going on, I'm going to invite you to relax even more. Just find your place within you of deep appreciation and receptivity to allow this process to settle within you. This is very important before we start to do any type of integration and new assimilation, so to speak. That you find yourself in a very peaceful state here. So I'm going to invite you to count backwards from three <laughs> to one. So starting with three, take a deep breath. Two, take a deep breath. And one, take a deep breath. And on that exhalation, find your place of settlement. Settlement means to be present. Very relaxed and surrendered to the process. Allow yourself to be induced even more in this relaxation of the higher awareness that you are becoming anew, a new creation within this new now high end experience and you are allowing the overtaking mind trajectory of wealth and prosperity to be your umpire in thinking and comprehension Expanded awareness. Take a deep breath, please. And relax even more into this newer settlement that is you, the truth of who you are in terms of how you show up in your life and in your business, your mission, your calling. Take a deep breath, please. And as the storm continues to move, continues to shower down with insights and wisdom, just feel sort of rushing over you like wind and rain. This refreshing awareness that life has changed, that you have changed, that you have become a new and that your functionality is at a higher level for optimum and opulent living, whatever that means for you. Take a deep breath, please. So I'm gonna invite you to tune into your current life's work and be present with the New Now Testament wisdom 
of what that actually is in the now. Has it shifted? Has it changed? Has it expanded? What is the evolution? Or what are you being called to now? Take a deep breath, please. Mm. Be present. And now we allow another form of extraction to take place. And what's coming to my awareness now is actually a money sign. So imagine that from this new, now high in mind, this extraction, that the symbolicness of dollar sign symbol is coming up. And you see that. Allow that to multiply almost like a mustard seed that's been watered in a very accelerated format. We know that a mustard seed is very small, but when it multiplies, it's, it's, it's tremendous in terms of the growth. So at this point, you become one with the open field, which is the open field of infinite possibilities. And that mind, the new mind has expanded. And now what comes forth is another mind, another brain within the brain, within the brain. And it has even more wisdom and insight. What are some of the insights that are being revealed to you now? Take a deep breath and write those down, please. Hmm. So just be present. Okay, and so now at this time, we're going to do some integration and assimilation. So even though this bigger, or more expanded context of this new, wealthy, prosperous, new, now high-end mindset that's come forth, and it's the bigger overtaking trajectory Let's be present to see if there are any golden nuggets from the different aspects that you separated out early on. If some of those come back into your awareness. It could be that one of the corners sort of lights up in your mind and it's like, okay, this one is the limiting beliefs. This one, um, is what I thought about success. Just be present with those, with this new mind that you are aware of now. Do you sense something different about the information coming forth from those areas, those aspects? Hmm? And for some of you, it would almost feel like everything was an illusion from before. And some of you would feel like, wow, I see this differently. This isn't a limiting belief. This was just an area I desired to expand my awareness around and did not want to put it through a traditional filter 
uh, or process to try to get rid of this. Because herein within myself, already the answer was there, but just in a greater trajectory that needed to be extracted. And you wouldn't have wanted to deny yourself this experience by already have uh, removed what you perceive to be a block because there's a gift there. So be present, be present with that experience. And so when you've received the wisdom and the insights from those different areas, separate the good, bad, and the ugly, so to speak, um, and the rearranging and repositioning that went on earlier, now you're going to be cohesively present with the collective, in the collective embodiment of those experiences. And now ask for the evolution. Ask for the evolution of the cohesive experience that you have lived up until this point. Take a deep breath, please. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm going to invite you to return your awareness back into the field. Has your storm passed? Or is it light rain? Take a deep breath, please. Right. Instead of going any deeper within this process, we're going to now do some assimilation. Um, being able to integrate the wisdom, the insights that have come up. Imagine yourself creating new order, new order with this information that Each piece of information, so to speak, of the wisdom that you became more aware of during this time are like puzzle pieces. And now you are assimilating those in, into a context that's going to be most relevant for you. Take a deep breath, please. Some of you feel your puzzles clicking, your mind clicking. <laughs> that often happens sometimes when these processes are taking place. You can feel kind of a reorientation, but in a very subtle way. This new mind that's present, new brain that's, that's present. And it just feels like everything is kind of being rewired. Or you can feel some things or sense some things being repositioned. But again, it's, it should be in a very in a very subtle way, not too disruptive. And as it's taking place, what I'm feeling guided to share is about the, the true purpose and nature of, of the perfect mind storm happening. It's, it is your own disruption in a sense that's taking place to uh, create this greater expansion and for you to be fully present with what's going on and not clinging to old uh, security models, not feeling that when things are, are going awry in a sense, whether financially or so, that you are having to take cover by leveraging some of the older um, structures. When you focused in on that new 
money sign, so to speak, and allow that to multiply because that's what Nakshi is still doing. I can sense that even in the anatomy of your new trajectories, that's still multiplying in these new dollars, these new dollars. And the wisdom and golden nugget, so to speak, from the rearranging of different aspects, it has these clues of how to best move forward with the newer that has emerged and that it too has now been evolved or transformed, if you will, into this newer context so that you are to see it from a very different vantage point. So for some of you, if you thought you had limiting beliefs, it could be that the limiting beliefs just want you to see that as an industry to serve, that I teach this in the empathic um, high-end way as well, is that we have an industry body and sometimes what we think belongs to us isn't. It's an industry that's reaching out. So for some of you, depending on what comes up for you, look at that as it's an industry calling you to create something, not necessarily to adopt it as a, as a niche and a core theme of your expression or so, but there's something there that wants to be produced and birthed into a new creation through you. So as you're doing some assimilating and putting that piece of puzzle with group light awareness, <laughs> so to speak, or wherever it lands itself, it'll start to speak to you even more. So as the storm has washed away old, but at the same time bring refreshment for the new that is emerging, this gives you that peace that surpasses all understanding as you are accurately assimilating in this new way. This new wealthy, prosperous mind, richly rewired, opulently oriented, <laughs> in a sense, from this higher extraction. And the extractions continue. We've done actually multiple extractions within this experience. And it's from this place that you began to take right divine inspired actions in terms of how you create moving forward, how you actually now look at your life and your business, your offerings, and you see them through new lenses, the new ascended eyes. It's, it's more likened to looking through the eyes of a caterpillar and looking through the eyes of a butterfly. Butterflies in the more divine ascended state. So it has a panoramic view and awareness in terms of what it's looking at. It doesn't see things just head on. So that's what this experience does for you is it allows you to see the expansiveness, to feel the expansiveness. And from this new expanded trajectory of your mind is where you now begin to flow your creative energy and you create and you bring new life. Mm. You bring new life to the current structures and see them transform and evolve into a new entity of expression. That is the, the butterfly expression. You, you see things quickly go through a metamorphosis and you feel it even in your mindset. Your own mental metamorphosis here. That's now putting you in this new state you're a new form, which means you have new functionalities. And from there, you're going to learn what the new foundations are, the new fundamentals around the new now testament and premises for your life's work. And feel that all be merged as one. Life in business, life works, life purpose, all is one lucrative life career advantage. Take a deep breath, please. And so let's together ground and anchor this new mind 
and feel the solidification. Feel yourself be grounded in this newness. Feel into the fullness and the overtaking opulent trajectory that's now at hand and underway. Take a deep breath, please. And feel yourself be rewired <laughs> in this new, this newer, truer context of who you are in the now, in the power of the present moment. Take a deep breath, please. Now let's begin to return. So at the sound of my voice, be very present with the newness of who you are. We're going to begin to come back into who you truly are in this new, now integrated way of being. So counting back from three. Three. Go into your new integration. Take a deep breath. Two. Feel yourself merging and morphing into this new entity of expression of who you are in the new now high-end context. Take a deep breath. And one, be fully present in the integration, the new divine assimilated you. Take a deep breath. And return the space, please. And thank you. Some of you are probably going to need a few moments to <laughs> return fully. But my encouragement to you is to go back through this process several times. Allow yourself to be present with it because newer insights will take place. Newer extractions will come forth. Newer emergence will make their way through you. You're going to produce things that you had no idea would be creations of yours. You'd be amazed at how you look at some of your offerings and see them very differently. See them for the true value that they are. And you'll be able to actually extract and take those through a metamorphosis process as well. Everything before this experience of what you thought would be possible pales in comparison to what actually exists within you and will come forth from you continuously. To stay with the process, stay very present and allow it to continue to expand and morph into the newness of who you are. Again, the difference between being a caterpillar and now being a butterfly that's ready to soar like an eagle, but also ready to be a luminate in the world, blazing like a phoenix. Okay, so just a light touch process. <laughs> some of you are like light touch. Oh no, that I felt that. That's kind of heavy for some of you. <laughs> but for whatever it was for each of you differently, it's unique for you. And just know again that you are new. And in this new now <laughs> experience, I'm definitely looking forward to hearing how you're 
high-end success um, blossoms for you. And be sure to leave comments below in terms of what this process um, did for you, what this experience was like, and what you're creating. You can inspire so many, and I'd love to support you as well. Okay, well, there's your evolutionary experience to bring forth the wow factor <laughs> for um, this phase. I hope that this served you, and uh, there'll be information below in this description for how you can continue on in this process. And I certainly look forward to uh, serving you more in this context and in another ways. All right, so I'm going to leave you with this. Be sure to get hydrated, especially over the next few days. Um, definitely allow yourself to be hydrated through water, through food, through different beverages that are going to serve you. Because this integration and assimilation phase is very important. And the more your body can be in an optimum state of well-being is, it's going to benefit you tremendously. Again, you're going to be mind blown <laughs> by what truly takes place in your life in general. Okay, so this is your majesty, your high end, highness, <laughs> in this new now perspective, uh, closing out for now and sending you away with many blessings. And I look forward to being back with you soon. Take care.